I want you to imagine a boy. That boy's name is Lewis. He is an extremely talented kid. He is extremely smart, works extremely hard, disciplined, has very good character. But Lewis has one big flaw. Lewis has not mastered the art, not even close, to having a decent conversation. See, whenever Lewis tries to work with other people, he always gets caught up in his own ideas and he's either always talking about whatever he's doing or he just doesn't talk at all and just remains silent. Lewis decides that if he wants to take his future to the next level, he needs to learn how to speak. So he goes on YouTube, tries to find some videos on how to talk to people, how to hold a decent conversation, but he can't find any advice that works. From that moment, Lewis sets out on a journey that he wants to improve his conversational skills and be able to talk to people and articulate himself in a professional way and have deep conversation. Not just that surface level, hey, how's it going? He wants a deep conversation. Fast forward five years into the future and Lewis has now became successful. He's an entrepreneur, he's an inventor, he's made amazing things that are changing the world and making it a better place. Now, Lewis didn't get there by simply just working hard by himself. He had to go learn how to talk to people and improve his social skills. At first, when Lewis started doing this, he was terrible. He was extremely awkward, he couldn't do anything. After five years of working hard and being focused on improving his goal to actually be able to talk to people, he cracked the code. And now whenever he goes to talk to a new person, he doesn't even think twice. He simply goes up, speaks to them, and has a beautiful conversation. I remember when I was first trying to level up my social skills and actually get better at conversations, I literally just thought that you were either good at talking or you weren't. I didn't realize that it's a skill that you can develop. I started looking online for advice on how to talk to people and how to hold better conversations and all the advice I saw was ask people questions, tell them you're interested, smile and da 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 da, -da and all this and none of that really worked for me. I remember when my best friend and I were playing in the soccer tournament um, in our hometown here with our team and there was a new kid who had just moved to our school he tried out for the team made it talked a little bit with him in practice you know just some like conversation here and there but during this tournament after one of our games had finished we had about a two hour break and my house is pretty close to the field so I invited him and my best friend to come back to my house and just kind of chill out for a little bit and while we were walking I was trying to have a decent conversation with him and I was okay at conversations at this point but like all I had in mind was just keep talking and keep him talking and I was just asking him questions that were absolutely trash because eventually you get to a point where there's only so many questions you can ask and if that's all you're thinking about it's just like you're interviewing the person and it's it's not a good way to hold a conversation now as me and this guy became a lot better friends we've had really good conversations but I just remember how awkward it felt at that first moment I'm definitely nowhere near an expert on this topic but I've definitely gotten a lot better from where I was especially when I started and it's a process. The first thing that you have to know is if you actually want to get good at conversations then you actually have to practice. You have to do what I did and go get uncomfortable. You have to think of it like lifting weights. If you want to get bigger in the gym you have to go to the gym lift the weights and you're gonna feel sore after. That's part of the process. It's the same with learning how to have a good conversation. You gotta have all the shitty awkward conversations and it's a process. In this video, I'm not gonna give you the basic advice and just, oh, ask them interesting questions because everyone knows that. Everyone knows that's how you talk to people. It's not a secret that that's how you have a conversation, but I'm gonna give you information in this that I didn't realize when I first started. And this is gonna be the key to actually getting better. Yes, at the start, you're gonna be terrible. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You can't just watch this video and instantly become better at conversations. You need to go practice, but these are tips that's gonna make you improve a lot faster and actually improve what you need to improve to be able to have a decent conversation. Now, the first reason is you're not actually present. When you're having a conversation, you're not actually in the moment. You're only worried about what's the next question I'm gonna ask them or what am I gonna say next? You're not actually listening to them. To be present, you need to actually be focused on what they're doing. You need to be genuinely interested in them. The best conversations we have are when we don't think. All right, imagine if you see your old friend that you haven't seen in years walking down the street and you immediately see him and go say hi, you wave from across the street and you're like running across the street in between the cars to go see him. You're not thinking when you do that. You just are in a flow state and that's what we want to get to in regular conversations. We want to be focused on what the other person is saying and listening to them and not simply be focused on what we're going to say next. You need to actually get present so you can actually look at them, look them straight in the eyes and literally hear what they're saying. I find a lot with new people when we start talking to them, we're only so worried on what we're going to say and that we're not going to mess up. But 
the, in reality by doing that, that's what's gonna happen. When we're comfortable around someone, like say your parents, for example, you're not constantly thinking about what, what you're gonna say next and what question you're gonna ask them next if you're having a conversation with them. You just wanna go have a conversation. A great example of this is sports. If I'm a basketball player, for example, say I'm in a game and I catch the ball and I'm about to shoot a jump shot, top of the arc, three point line, I'm about to shoot and I catch the ball and as I'm rising up to shoot, I notice that my defender runs past me because he's running to the other end. He's going to cherry pick down the other end. If I'm focused on, if I'm up there shooting my shot and I look back at him, what do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna miss the shot and he's gonna run down. His teammate is gonna catch the ball, throw it up to him, get a layup and they're gonna score. But if I actually focus on what I'm doing right now, if I'm in the process of shooting the shot, I have my release up and if I focus on the front of the rim and actually focus on getting it in the net, I can make the shot and then get back and play defense. But if I focus on what's the next play that's gonna happen, then I'm obviously gonna mess up the play that's currently happened. It's athletes call it getting in the zone. That's what we wanna do with conversations. And I know I kind of butchered that example, but that's what we wanna do. We wanna get in the zone, we wanna get focused. Focused on what they're saying and your brain is automatically gonna have a decent response. It's not like you're just gonna go blank all the time because you're not thinking what you're gonna say next and just come up with awkward silence and just sit there and freeze unless some of you may do that but that's part of the process it's getting into those conversations and actually practicing and getting better so next time you're talking to someone focus on what they're saying look them directly in the eyes not like you don't have to stare like that but focus on what they're saying listen to them there's a big difference between hearing and listening we can be aware that something's happening and we can tune it out or we can listen and actually focus on what they're saying and that's actually how you have a genuine conversation. Now this might be making sense to you, but now you're thinking, how do I get into a flow state? And how do I actually be present when I'm talking to someone? And that's where meditation comes in. And meditation is just simply focusing in on the moment. It's just getting to this present moment. There's a lot of different kinds of meditation, but the biggest thing that all of them are involved in is just getting to the present moment. So you can go search up a tutorial on how to meditate. I'm not gonna go in too into detail with this video, but basically you just wanna have one thing that you're focused on, for example, your breath. So if I'm just sitting with my eyes closed, I'm gonna focus exactly on my breath. Every little feeling I get when it's going through my nose, that's what I'm focused. I'm just focused on breathing in. And then breathing out literally just focusing on what I'm doing exactly then and you're gonna suck at this your mind is gonna wander that's how it works it's just like getting into a conversation and actually getting and actually practicing getting better it just takes time but as you do it more and more you're gonna become better at focusing and then you're gonna just get better the other part of this is at first you have to force it you're not it's not gonna be easy you have to sometimes force questions out and sometimes you'll ask a really bad question it's like when you're on a first date with someone, half the questions you ask them and half the stuff you talk about is just completely garbage and it's worthless and you feel extremely awkward, but that's part of the process. If you wanna to get to know someone well, you have to go through those awkward moments and get and be okay with that. That's part of the process. That's the beautiful process of it. It's You can look back and think, I was absolutely terrible at talking back then. It's the same with me for YouTube. I look back at some of my old videos and I'm like, I cannot believe I spoke like that. And in about a year, I'm probably gonna look back on this video and look back and think, I cannot believe I spoke that terribly. But it's process, it's progression. Now I understand how hard and how difficult it is to actually have a conversation, a decent conversation, and especially when you're feeling lonely. Trust me, I've been there. When I started middle school, my best friend had just moved away and I didn't really have a lot of people to talk to. And it's an extremely lonely experience and I'm glad I went through it and it got me to the point where I needed to get out of my comfort zone. And yes, it's uncomfortable, yes, it's hard, but the awkwardness and the uncomfortable moments that we have when we're trying to talk to new people and learn how to actually make decent relationships is better than what it feels like to be lonely for your entire life. It's gonna take time. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, this takes years. Remember our example of Lewis, it took him five years to get to the point where he was actually extremely comfortable with talking to new people. And Lewis still is still gonna mess up, but he knows that that's part of the process. And you have to be comfortable enough with yourself to think, yeah, I'm gonna make mistakes, but I'm gonna get better. That's what we wanna do here. We are getting better each day, 
get a little bit better. Just imagine what life would look like if you were, if you became that social butterfly. We all know people like that who can just go up and give someone a really good compliment that makes their day or get really good at public speaking, speak to a lar lar large crowd and inspire them. And they just have that. And a lot of people don't get that naturally. Some do, but the majority don't. They've gone and practiced that. They've cultivated so many beautiful relationships and their life is just amazing. Can you imagine if that's for you? And trust me, you can do it. You just have to put the hard work in. Anyone can get good at anything. Yes, there's genetic limits and da 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 da, but if you actually put the time in and you want to get good at something, then you can do it. And that life of being that social butterfly and having beautiful friends and being in a beautiful relationship is not that far away. You just have to practice. And yes, it's hard, but just look at what's out the other end. And it's a beautiful experience to see the progression that you've done and just improve your life in general. You gotta get through the pain and actually go do the hard work if you want this stuff to help you.